Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. So I know it's Saturday and I normally don't post on Saturdays, um, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to live stream tomorrow. I might be able to, but I'm not 100% sure, so just in case I'm not able to live stream tomorrow, uh, I wanted to do a video for you guys. Um, I've been saying for the longest time that I was going to do an updated uh, products that I use on my hair and skin video, so I really wanted to do it. Um, for those of you that know, I did used to have locks. Uh, they were about waist length. Um, I grew them out for seven years, and then in September of 2016, I cut my hair. I did a big chop. I cut all my hair off, and I've been growing it out as a loose natural. A lot of you guys um, have been really curious about the products that I use on my hair as well as my skin, and when my hair was really, really short, I was using a certain set of products. When it was like kind of like growing out, medium length I was using a different set of products and now that it's a little bit longer I've been using a different set of products so I wanted to do an updated video for you guys um, and of course as always all the products that I use and all the products that I feature in all of my videos are from black owned businesses um, and if you check my Black Friday playlist or look in the description box there will be links to review videos for all of these brands maybe not all of these specific products exactly but all of these brands and there will also be links in the description box as well to all these products if you guys want to give them a try so starting with products that I use on my hair uh, I, I think I want to do I have everything like lined up oh you know I don't have my shampoo hold on let me go get my shampoo hold on okay I'm back so I wash my hair maybe once a week uh, sometimes once every two weeks, but I try to do it once a week, so maybe every Saturday or Sunday. Um, I have three different shampoos. Obviously, I don't use all three of them at once, but I like to alternate. I feel like my hair likes moderation. I know that some people, they find a product that they like and that their hair likes or that their skin likes, and they kind of just, like, stick with it. Um, when I find products that I like, I do stick with them, but I also feel like variety is the spice of life, so I sometimes like to switch it up. So right now, though, this is my absolute, it's empty, as you can see. This is my absolute favorite shampoo, Allocate Naturals uh, Moisturizing Black Soap Shampoo. I really, 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 really like the shampoo. I love the way that it smells. I feel like it doesn't strip my hair sometimes uh, when you use shampoos, especially ones that do lather up. Uh, they can feel like they strip your hair of moisture, but this one I never have an issue with. Um, I really love this line, Allocate Naturals in general. It was started by Black Onyx, who is a YouTuber. She started out as like a natural hair guru on YouTube. She didn't like any of the products that were out, so she decided to make her own products, and now her products are sold you know, nationwide. Uh, I also like Allocate Naturals because it's pretty easy to find. You can find it in Target. You can find it in Walmart. You can find it in Sally's Beauty Supply Store, Rite Aid, CVS. Uh, this is a product that you can find pretty much everywhere. It's very comparable to Shea Moisture in that regard, and you guys know that I do not fuck with Shea Moisture. So if you're looking for an alternative to Shea Moisture, I would definitely recommend Allocate Naturals. I love the shampoo. I also use Eden Body Works uh, Kids Line Detangling Shampoo. I bought this one specifically for the detangling properties of it, which I do like, but I do sometimes feel like this shampoo leaves my hair feeling a little bit like on the dry side after I use it. So I really only use this one if my hair is like extremely, extremely, extremely filthy. So let's say I went out, I was dancing, or I was working out, or my hair just seemed, or or I like to use this one after, after I have braids. Um, I haven't had braids for a while because I've been giving my uh, hair and my scalp a rest, but normally I keep my braids in for three weeks to a month, so that means like three weeks to a month without being able to like really get in and wash my hair, so I like to use this one. This is just like a very like deep fucking cleansing shampoo. This is not like a shampoo that I would recommend for like daily or weekly or bi-weekly use, like maybe once a month or something like that. I use this, but I do like it. It's just, um, it's just a little bit intense for for me personally and I also still love my Moni squared shampoo bars I really like them I feel like they're really easy to use um, these are 100% all natural and I feel like for the length that my hair also is right now it's really really easy to use these sometimes as opposed to the liquid shampoos because I can really get like right up in my hair and on my scalp when I use these so uh, I really like the shampoo bar, and I do still like the liquid shampoos as well. Like I said, I like to switch it up. Me, personally, I just like having options 
I'm all about options. Variety is the spice of life. So generally, uh, like I said, I wash my hair maybe once a week um, or once every two weeks, Saturdays and Sundays. And then what I like to do when I wash my hair, uh, I wash my hair with my shampoo and then I like to deep condition, ignore the fact that there is soap stuck to the bottom of this container. I mean, stuck to the top of this container. Um, this is also empty. As you can see, it is empty. I was, bitch, I was digging. I was scraping. I really, I was like, Okay, like, let me just order a new one. I was, like, really scraping the shit out of this. I love this Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner, also from Alakay Naturals. I love it. It's meant for weekly use, to use maybe once or twice a week. Um, so it's perfect for when I shampoo. Normally I shampoo and then I deep condition. I normally deep condition. I just, like, put my hair up in, like, a bun or in a shower cap or something. I leave it in for maybe, like, 20 or 30 minutes, and then I rinse it out. It is so good. It leaves my hair feeling just really, really, really moisturized. It's extremely easy to detangle after I use this. This is not a leave-in, so you have to rinse it out. Uh, it has a really, really, really great smell, kind of like a sweet, um, but not too sweet, not like cloying smell, but it just has a great smell. It They say that it, like, suck, it has humectants. I don't know. I'm not like a hair person, but it did say something about humectants. Honey pull, yeah, humectant that binds moisture into your hair, uh, penetrates hair to diminish dryness and itchy scalp, increases scalp circulation. Yeah, honey pulls moisture from the air, locks it into each strand for ultimate moisture replenishment and retention. Yeah, so for all of you that are into hair and know what humectants and shit are, this is really, really good for keeping your hair moisturized and um, helping, I feel like, with detangling and stuff like that. So normally I wash. I, I deep condition and then I rinse it out and then normally after I deep condition I normally um, put my Alakay Naturals like I really like this brand Alakay Naturals not to be gone hair detangler this is like a detangling leave-in conditioner but I actually think uh, the next time I order something from Alakay Naturals I'm probably gonna try a different conditioner from this one um, just to try it out I do like this one as you can see this is also empty like the shit is empty um, I really do like it. I And I also like to use this hair detangler in the morning. So even when I don't wash my hair and I just like take a shower in the morning, sometimes I just like get my hair wet and then I detangle in the shower using this. I put maybe like a dime or a quarter size amount in my palm and I detangle using this like every other morning or every morning or something like that. And I really, really like it in terms of just like as a leave-in conditioner and as a detangler. But this has been empty for a while. So I actually have not used this for a while because I've been using these other detanglers, which I'm going to get to. I've been using the Oh My Glide Oyen detangler. And I've also been using um, the Eden Body Works Kids leave-in detangler. I really, 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 this is almost empty. I really like this leave-in detangler on dry hair. So if you're in a rush, if you don't have time to like get your hair wet or if you don't have time to do like a full like routine or whatever and you just need to like spritz your hair with something and go, I really like this. Like I really, really, really like this a lot. This um, Kids Eden Body Works Very Natural Leave-In Detangler. It's really, really good. It's really moisturizing. I can just like spritz my dry hair with it and like finger detangle um, or occasionally comb detangle, but I really hate combing my hair. I like to finger detangle, detangle, excuse me, only. I really like this and I love this Oyen on my glide. This on wet or damp hair is literally like you don't need shit. Like you don't need shit. Like you wash your hair while your hair is wet or damp. You like spritz this on. It's it says on the bottle like the tangles melt away. That's not false advertising. That's really 100% fucking true. I really 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 like these in terms of like knots. I have a bad habit of like I'm that person that's like ripping literally like ripping knots out of my hair. Like I'm trying to be better about it, but I'm really shitty about it. So tangles melt away so fast it'll leave you saying OMG. Yeah, like I really really like both of these detanglers and then I like to use uh, these leave-in conditioners so this is Moni Squared uh, pink grapefruit leave-in detangling conditioner her blood orange which I've used before detangling conditioner is also really really good the Alake Naturals leave-in conditioner is also great so I normally so if it's like a wash day I wash I deep condition I detangle 
and then I use one of these. If it's not a regular wash day, um, if it's just a regular day and I'm taking a shower, I normally take a shower, I get my hair damp. Um, I When I had some of this, I was using this, but now that I don't have any of this left, I normally use one of these. And then once I get out of the shower, I use one of these. Leave one of these leave-in conditioners. I like both of these really, really well. I feel like uh, they just do a really good job of leaving my hair moisturized, but not like weighed down. They're not too heavy. They're not greasy. They don't leave like a ton of residue or anything like that. I really, really like those products. I've also recently started using this Oyen Burnt Sugar Pomade. Um, it's basically like the consistency of regular hair grease. So like a Blue Magic or um, Sulfur 8 or something like that. Um, and I love the way that, oh my God, I love the way that it smells. It smells like candy, it smells like lollipops. And you guys know that I normally don't like sweet shit, but something about this I really, really like. So see, it's just like grease. It's just like, as you can see, I just like dig my fucking finger in it. Um, I like this a lot for when my scalp feels dry. I rub this into my scalp. Um, a lot of people also like to use this for sealing. I'm not 100% sure what sealing is, so I don't know if I'm using it for sealing or not, but mostly I use it to moisturize my scalp and sometimes, um, just like rubbing it through my hair because it's, it's like a really rich kind of fatty hair grease that I like a lot. Um, I just started using this maybe like a couple weeks ago and I really, 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 really like it. I would highly recommend it. And on my skin right now, I'm using my Moni Squared Tea Tree Facial Cleanser, which I really, really like. This is not a foaming cleanser. It's funny because I like really foamy shit on my hair when I'm shampooing, but I do not like to use foaming cleansers on my face. I feel like they dry my skin out, and I have a habit of getting, like, dry patches of, like, skin here and, like, on my forehead and on my nose. So I try to be really aware of, like, what is drying out my skin. And I also don't wear makeup, so... Um, I just really try to be like aware of like do I have motherfucking dry patches on my face like what's going on with my face so this is the tea tree facial cleanser which I love I've been using this for years now like this is just it's what I use I really like it uh, I'm also currently using the Mo Moisture um, scrub old-fashioned grit Mo Moisture is currently closed I don't know what's going on with her store right now unfortunately it's closed so if I run out of this and her store is still closed I'm gonna have to find something else which is unfortunate because I really 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 like this uh, so normally I wash my face with this I exfoliate with this and then I use my uh, Acai Acai I don't know how to pronounce nothing um, my Acai Akai Mango Face Lotion from Beige Floor Naturals. I have used other face creams. This is my favorite fucking face cream. I really think this is just the only face cream I'm going to use from now on until they stop making the shit. Like, this is my shit. Beige Floor Naturals is actually one of the first uh, brands that I reviewed for Black Friday. Um, and they sent me one of these and I loved it. I've tried other ones, but I just, like, keep coming back. I keep coming back. I keep coming back. Like, I, I've reviewed this one um, before on this channel, and I just, something about this face cream I really, really like. It's light enough that I do feel like it can be used on all skin types, um, but it's also really just packed with a lot of, like, nourishment. So, like I said, I have more combination skin. I have dry patches. I get oily sometimes. This, this is my shit. Like, this is my shit. Um, and last but not least, I also use the Oyen Handmade No Ash at All Body Lotion. When I'm out of my, um, Beige Floor Naturals face cream, I will even use this on my face. I really like it. And as you guys know, I also used to use their Simple Soap, which unfortunately they stopped making. So those are the products that I use on my hair and skin, updated. Um, I'm very low maintenance. I don't do, I really don't do very much. Maybe this seems like a lot of products. But it's really, really not, and they're all from, like, the same three brands, really. Like, Moni Squared, Eden Body Works, Oyen Handmade, Oh, Beige Floor Naturals, that's four, I guess. So, I, I like to keep it really simple in terms of what I use and, and um, I mean, spice it up in terms of, like, brands and stuff like that and trying different things out. But, like, I do like to keep it simple. Like, I can't do anything that's going to require, like, nine steps and, like, braiding and twisting and braid outs and this and that like I just can't like I'm just not into that so yeah that's what I use in my hair and skin updated hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully everybody's having a great Saturday if I don't do a live stream tomorrow I will um 
leave something in the community tab. Uh, if you look in the community tab on my channel, you'll see it. And if I do go live tomorrow, then you'll see it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, links to everything will be in the description box. Food for thought as always. See you guys next time.